Hello, it's Polish Paul VR. Welcome to my channel and let's do freshest PSVR news in the village. We going to start from Lo-Fi and the latest update that the developers provided us with. Basically, they said that the PSVR port is coming. They said it's kind of funded, but in past they said even if they don't reach the goal, the Kickstarter stretch goal, they still would bring this game to PSVR and they doing it. They gave us reason why it's not coming to this PSVR on PS4. They saying they waiting to PS5 not because of the power of the original PS4, but because of the move controllers. Basically, it's a massive limitation that's stopping them from publishing this game on PS4, but they assuming that on PS5 Sony gonna update controllers and then they be able to bring Lo-Fi to PS5. Now listen, let's hope they write and Sony will update controllers. We was hoping to update them controllers past last three years and it didn't happen. But maybe with PS5, maybe finally they do it. In the days when competition already got finger tracking for their headsets, we still waiting for a thumbstick. I'm sure Sony kind of now regrets not putting thumbsticks on moves already. Maybe with PS5, lo-fi developers, maybe they write in their hopes and hopefully we get updated moves as soon as possible. But anyway, lo-fi coming to PS5. And now another story is Mars Odyssey. ESRB ratings pop up for this game, which means it's coming very, very, very soon. It's coming from the Steel Wool Studios, same studios was gave us Quar, and also, of course, they've done port for the Five Nights at Freddy's VR. Mars Odyssey is one of the first VR, like an experiences ever released on PC back in the 2016. It's not a biggest experience, it lasts about 20 minutes and costs 5 quid. What you're doing, you go into Mars, you land, you land on it, then you learn about it, you can interact with Mars rovers and to fix them, explore a bit and just learn. So this should be with us very soon. Now we're gonna talk about Grand Turismo Sport Spec 2. What is it? Well, basically it's the new disc version of Gran Turismo. If you uninstall your game and then you want to play it again, you're gonna put it in your PS4 and then you're gonna get huge downloads because that's how many updates this game had. So they bring in two disc version of this game. There will be two Blu-rays in box and then you not have to update as much. The, it's up to the May, so you got less updates to download, but also there's gonna be some extra stuff for people who buy this game, so very nice, and if you own it, then you don't, don't need to buy it, but if you don't own it, then get this version, if you buy the one disc version, get ready for a huge download, you'll be like, oh yes, I want to play a game, oh shit, right, one day download. So the, yeah, the days when you just put game in the console are gone. Now you have to download stuff. Okay, let's speak a bit about the Beat Saber, the awesome, amazing game. What's happening is they've got chance of winning Grammy Award for the OST3. So big, big good look to the studio. The game is amazing. Beat Saber breaking yet another new grounds. If they win Grammy Award, that would be awesome. But also lately they spoke about their 180 levels. They look great. Of course, they won't work on PlayStation VR because of tracking a very big elephant in PlayStation VR Doom, the tracking. But whatever, they say in 120 levels might work and they might be coming this December, so let's hope so. And now let's come back to the No Man's Sky Beyond and one feature that people want. Apart from Propatch, we're not gonna speak about that today, but we're gonna speak about the vibration. It worked when the game first released, but then it stopped working when they brought new patches. They've got brand new experimental on Steam and this will be bringing vibrations back. So when this patch comes to PlayStation VR, the move controllers should be vibrating, which is nice because you'll be getting nice feedback from this No Man's Sky world, which is awesome. Okay, if you like what you're seeing, then please press a like because it does help the channel a lot. And if you're new to the channel and are not subscribed, then subscribe. It's always better when it's more of us. And that's it, bye.